Injured troops have performed to a sellout audience at a West End theatre in a play which tells the real story of living with and adapting to war wounds. The storyline of The Two Worlds of Charlie F was written from the personal experiences of the 30 soldiers who took part. The servicemen and women were giving, given their big break at the Theatre Royal Haymarket's Masterclass Trust and the Royal British Legion. And they also got some pretty heavyweight backing for their efforts. Julie Knox reports. When you're discharged from the services, one of the last things you do is you hand over your ID, your identity. The phrase, break a leg, makes them chuckle. That's the least of their worries. In fact, going on stage was more frightening for the troops than going to war, because it was well out of their comfort zone. I'd rather get shot at than do that any day. Uh, but Royal British Legion, Masterclass, everyone, our writer, director, they've all been brilliant. And they've had to put up with us, so... It's hard work, I think, <laughs> on, their, on their side. <laughs> The service personnel were found and funded by the Royal British Legion, with the Theatre Royal's Masterclass Trust taking the time to train them and put on the show in its historic West End venue. It's not rehab officially, but going through this process has helped them as they rehabilitate. Crucially, those in charge of the Army's recovery schemes can see the worth of projects like these. Some of them are going back to go and join the Army, um, or the Navy or the Air Force back into either old job or other jobs for them, and others are going on to, into civilian street, and um, this has been a real boost on that recovery programme. Someone else who I've never met before, but obviously realised who I might be, said it must make you so proud, and it did. And a few professional actors who happened to be in the audience had nothing but praise for the amateur thespes. It was incredibly moving and incredibly important for us in the audience, us civilians, to understand what actually is going on in our name, what our, what our military are doing for us. It was very, very funny, very, very touching, and um, I think everybody should see it. I hope other service people have a, have a chance to do exactly the same thing, you know, because I think it will help, I think it is helping, and it's a great, great way to bring the confidence back and help them in there in their quest for recovery. Anna had her leg amputated last year after struggling with injuries from a sports accident when she was representing the army at Luge. The camaraderie she's known in Bravo 22 company has been like being back in a platoon again. And it's brought the troops out of the defensive shells they've been in because they're different people post-injury. Over the past sort of two months, three months that we've actually been rehearsing, We've gone from a, a group of individuals who think, oh, I'm the only one with my injuries, I'm the only one with these problems, to actually being a really confident, slightly more outgoing, extroverted group of people, possibly back to who we used to be prior to injury. Self-confidence and self-esteem has been boosted. <laughs> As a group, we have bonded very quickly and very well, and we're just really sad to see it end. It might not be over. Members of the audience were heard to ask, when will the two worlds of Charlie F be taken on tour? Julie Knox, Forces News.